Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then I'm so happy to meet you. Today we have a Shein haul. I've been seeing this video go around on YouTube a lot. I'm going to show you quite a few items of clothing. We're going to see what we think. I'm going to cut this intro here and I hope you enjoy this video. My first little thing that's bothered me is that don't get me wrong everything's really well packaged and i'm really happy that the clothes have been taken care of but every single item of clothing I bought came in these sheen plastic like bags and don't get me wrong it's fine it's like great thank you for looking after my clothes but they could have put them in like two of these or something because it really isn't great for the environment. Like, what am I supposed to do with all these bags? If I don't send any of the clothes back, what am I supposed to do with all these? Like, it's just not great, is it? So that's my only thing that kind of bothered me. So I'm gonna start off with just two things. These are two bodysuits and these are the only items that I'm not allowed to send back for hygienic reasons, I suppose, um, because they don't actually have any hygiene strips in them my first one is this white bodysuit it says baby girl on it really simple love it a lot i'm really happy with this it's a really nice ribbed material i don't know how see-through it is it's a little bit see-through but that's okay so every single piece of white clothing that i've got recently it's all so see-through and i'm just like for god's sake it's kind of annoying uh, if i get something white i kind of want it to be double lined but I'm hoping this material is kind of thick. But obviously we'll see what it's like on. It's just got the poppers at the bottom. It's kind of long. Like my body isn't really that long. But it's kind of long. But we'll see. So that is the first item. The next bodysuit I have is... It's really confusing and it's really quite small. Um, but I think it's going to stretch. Basically it's this red bodysuit in a really nice soft material and I think this is double lined it's like it feels like it is and then on the back which is really complicated <laughs> is all these straps so it's backless and then at the bottom so I'm guessing you step into it because it's got no poppers it goes into a thong like so it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a dark red but that's absolutely fine I think both of these pieces is in an extra small they are the two bodysuits I've got and I can't send them back so I'm going to try these on but first I'm just going to show you some shorts I got as well so the shorts I got were these black ripped shorts and on the back they have like cut out on at the bottom of the shorts so obviously your bum might be on show a little bit but i don't mind that so i'm gonna pair these shorts with them bodysuits and see what we think okay so that first outfit i'm really impressed with actually the bodysuit is a tiny little bit see-through but the only thing it shows my piercing a little bit but it doesn't actually show if you know what i mean so that is absolutely perfect like the first white bodysuit that i've got that isn't see-through is like a massive thumbs up from me the shorts are a little bit big around the waist which is fine i'll just wear a belt um i do like the bum bit and i do like the rips on the front the only thing is the pockets do show through the rips which they would because they're real pockets um i guess that was a fashion statement at one point where you'd have rips at the front and then your pockets would be underneath and you'd be able to see them i think that looks better with blue shorts but with black shorts it kind of just looks like a baggy bit of material that shouldn't really be there so i'd probably tuck them up so you can't see them you can just see the rips so i'm going to keep the shorts on and i'm going to try the next bodysuit on and hopefully i'll be able to get it on okay because yeah it looks complicated but we will see how it goes it took me a second to like figure it out when it was on um but as you can see it fits really nicely it goes really well with black but i'm sure this red color would also go weird, uh, really well with blue as well the shorts are even more loose on this outfit because obviously it's a thinner material so obviously i definitely need to wear a belt 
with these shorts. They are really, really nice shorts. And the quality, I know I'm meant to be talking about the bodysuit, but the quality of these shorts is really, really nice denim. Like, they're quite thick as well. So that's really good. Going back to the bodysuit, I love how it's completely backless, but it completely covers you at the front. That is a really good bodysuit. So I'm really happy with that as well. The next item of clothing I'm going to show you are a few tops, just because I think they will go really well with these shorts. So, the first top I have to show you, I got this bodysuit, obviously the back was what drew me to it, and then I saw a kind of like a top version, and I got my sister this really, really nice top from Motel Rocks ages and ages ago, it was really, really expensive, but then I saw this and I was like, it's actually really similar, so following on from this bodysuit and the style of the back of it, I saw this in a top style, so it's this nice shiny sort of dark reddy burgundy colour, and then on the back, same sort of style as I said, and it's a cross corset type thing. So what I like about this is you'll be able to pull yourself in as much as you'd like. And my only concern is doing it up and making it look actually pretty. I might need some help, but no one's here, so I'll try my best. I love this top. Um, I feel like it flattens my boobs a bit, which is a little bit annoying when you haven't got massive boobs anyway. You don't want to be flattened. But it's fine. I have, like, cinched it in, like, really, really tight because, obviously, the corset detail, that's great for my waist. I love... The material, it is double lines. I just showed you a picture of the top on the website to show you what it should look like on the back. And then obviously I've tried to tie it. I'm just terrible at tying like bows. I apologize for the really, really bad knot that I did. I'm really, really happy with this. And I'm really vibing the red lips and the red top right now. So far, I think the quality of Shein is great. I am really, really impressed, so let's keep going and see what we think for the rest of the items. So the next thing I've got, as I said, I'm going to keep showing you the tops to go with the shorts because I haven't got any other trousers from Shein that would go with these tops. So obviously, we're not able to go to gyms right now, and I'm really trying to focus on my body. I'm really trying so hard to get my body to where I want it to be. Um, and I saw this and I thought it was really cute and really relatable. It's just this really cute little grey crop top. Spaghetti straps. And it says Jim Baby. There were so many different colours. I think this is going to be a really cute top. But it does seem really, really small. A little bit stretchy, but not really stretchy. Um, and it's an extra small. I think I got most of the tops in an extra small just for um, a guidance. So this little top is really, really, really fitted. I struggled to get it on. There's a little bit of stretch, but not loads of stretch. I probably could have gone for a small instead of an extra small, but I still really love it. It does come up quite high on my stomach, but I think you just wear some really high-waisted jeans. It's a really nice little summery, chill crop top. The next and final top that I have, it's this little t-shirt crop top, and it's got all these ripped bits in it. So I'm hoping it's going to look really good with my tattoo. Obviously it says, hot damn. I'm hoping when I wear this that people aren't going to judge the word, because obviously the word is quite big and in your face and quite American. I didn't get it for the word. I got it for the style of the top, but they didn't have any of these tops with no writing on it. It was all writing on them. So there were also loads of different colours of this. Let's try it on and see what we think. I knew it would be my favourite top. I mean, just look at it. It's so different. It's kind of sexy. And I love how it shows my tattoo. So that's great. The word is a bit much but I think it gives the crop t-shirt a lot more than just a plain black one personally if it was up to me I would take away this and just have everything else it's another thumbs up from me and I think it was definitely my favorite top out of all of them I am gonna chuck on another bodysuit that we've already tried on and I'm going to try on these jeans so it's the only pair of jeans I got apart from the denim shorts that aren't jeans obviously but I thought this was the one thing that was going to be really really different for me something that I don't usually wear 
don't wear the colour. I see so many girls wearing this colour and I think you just look so smart, sexy, sophisticated. But for me, beige is not my colour at all. I wanted to get a pair of something that was different for me. Something that I wouldn't wear. I want to be able to pull this off and feel really good about myself. So... We're going to try these on with the white baby girl bodysuit just because I think that's the only thing that will go with these jeans. These are high-waisted. Well, they're meant to be. They look high-waisted. They are really thin material, actually. That's concerning because I really don't want them to be see-through. Really lightweight jeans. Well, they're sort of jeggings, if you know what I mean. But I've just noticed the band is actually really, really thick, which is quite cool because I like a thick waistband. Um... And then at the front, we just have halfway down, probably just above the knee, we have a rip. And just below the knee, we have a rip. And then on the other leg, there's just one rip. So I'm going to try these on with the white bodysuit and see what we think. What do we think of them? I'm not a fan, to be honest. I knew it wouldn't be. They don't feel like jeans once they're on. They feel like itchy jeggings, which is really weird. Also... I don't know if they're meant to be full length. I'm pretty sure they are because I don't really buy three quarter lengths. They come up quite high on my leg. You'd probably, you'll probably see in the clip. They're not full length. There's a lot of material around the belly area. I'm being really critical of these jeans, but they do not flatter my body whatsoever. And I'm sure for someone who isn't me, they would. But for me, these are not the best quality and they just don't look great on me and it also looks like I'm kind of because I'm so pale anyway it kind of looks like I'm naked on the bottom half I also put a pair of seamless um pants on and also I tucked up my bodysuit so it wasn't a bodysuit I just tucked it up like it was a top it's such thin material it's very see-through for me they ain't great the main thing in general for me is they're really itchy and it is not the right sizing that's a shame but it is what it is. Let's move on. We have two items left and they are similar. So it's this little play suit, which is really cute. I'm not sure about this fake drawstring. Like, I think I'd rather it not exist, to be honest. Like, if I keep this and it looks good on, I'm probably going to cut it off. Just because I just don't think it looks great. Like, why is it there? What's, what's it doing? You know, it's not real. I just thought... That would be a really cute little thing to lounge around in in the summer, um, on holidays. I think it's in a size extra small. What do we think of that one? I like it when the shorts get pulled up because they then look like gym shorts. And then obviously the top bit kind of then looks like a separate top, like it's been tucked in. So I like it when the short bits are pulled up and look more like fitted gym shorts. But then the top bit goes a little bit baggy. And when the top bit is baggy it then looks bad for my top half also this cut is quite high for me like I prefer lower it's not flattering me I mean the cinch in the middle of the play suit is kind of cute and it does cinch me in a little bit but as I said you can only have one either the top bit or the bottom bit that gets flattered otherwise I feel like I'd rather it be a two piece than a one piece if you know what I mean not sure I'm going to have a think about it, but also it's quite a lycra material, which for me, I don't like lycra. I'm not really a fan. So my last item is another play suit, but it's a halter neck play suit. I love the pattern on it. It is camo all the way down, camouflage. It's a lower neckline, which I like. So I'm going to try this on. Um, it has got a cinchy bit in the middle, but it's got no drawstring that's fake or no drawstring that's real. So I'm thinking this is going to be a really good one. It's such a soft silky material as well, unlike this one that's like more gym material. This is in a small. I absolutely love this one. I definitely think this is my favourite piece of the whole haul. Um, I love camouflage. It's like one of my favourite patterns to wear. And yeah, I think that was a really good item to end on. So I'm going to end this here on a really positive note. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. See you later.